Hey Pisces, welcome to your October 2017 Taroscope reading. This is Lauren with the Clarity Cure. Welcome back. Nice to see you. Before we jump in, I want to thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support of my channel. I wouldn't be able to do this without all your love and support and your comments. You guys crack me up. Some of the comments I get, um, I really enjoy reading. Um, I get a lot of feedback on my dogs. Uh, I hope they don't distract you guys, but I can't lock them out of the room. All hell would break loose, but anyway. Um, I do read each comment. They're very, very important to me. You'll notice um, there's usually a thumbs up and a heart emoji that um, will tell you that I have read them, and I, I respect your feedback. I want your feedback. I'm here to serve you guys. And on that note, please check out my website. The, um, the link is in the description box below. Uh, I do offer other services other than tarot. I, ha I do healing session, coaching sessions, finding your life purpose. Uh, I'm also a health coach. So keep that in mind. Check it out at your convenience. And um, also, I keep forgetting, there's a link below as well that uh, will calculate for you um, your moon and or rising sign, please, please go uh, find out uh, what they are so you can, you know, cross check the corresponding videos. Um, that tends to be a theme, astrologically speaking, as well. Um, how they, uh, how that all plays into the readings. Um, so, if you want more information, if a particular reading didn't resonate with you, then you know you can check out your moon and or rising sign, um, and Again, that helps us connect energetically as well. Okay, so I will be using the Wisdom of the Oracle cards by Clet Baron Reed as one of your signifiers. And again, uh, for this month, I'll be using the John Holland um, Psychic Tarot uh, for your second signifier. All right, enough of that. Let's jump in at the bottom of the deck in your overall energy. Hold on, I'll just move my crystals here. Let me... Okay is the, uh, you received the Nine of Cups. Very nice, Pisces. This is, this is a beautiful card. This is about wish fulfillment. Um, uh, all your wish is coming true. You're feeling emotionally abundant. You know, there's something, there's some energy coming in here, uh, moving into October that's going to make you very, very happy. Okay. Um, this card also can talk about overindulgence as well, um, you know, drinking, overeating, and stuff like that, but we'll see how it plays into the rest of the reading. So the situation represented today in the center is the Three of Wands. So it looks like you are, have planted those seeds, um... You know, this is usually like a career or work card um, or about a life event. It's about growth and expansion. This is you looking out uh, to the horizon and you're, you're um, watching your ships come in, right? You're manifesting. You've done the work of the um, ace and the, and the two of wands. And now you're starting to see the results. Okay, so this could be, you know, about a relationship uh, fostering and growing. This could be about a work situation. Maybe you got a raise or your promotion is coming in. Crossing you is the Six of Cups, which is a very sweet, nostalgic card um, about memories and your past and... Um, you know, things that made you happy. This could be a soulmate. Uh, this could be a sibling. This could be family. This could even be going and visiting family. But, oh, it's the six, not the two. I'm sorry, I spaced out there for a minute. So, this is about good relationships in general, you know? Maybe somebody from the past is going to be helping you with something. Or maybe it's it's time for you to reflect. Maybe take a break. You know, this is about closure and moving on from the past. So you have some new stuff coming in here. But I feel like you're thinking about your uh, past memories. 
maybe things when things were better. But, you know, with this card here of action, right, of fostering and planting your seeds and your ships coming in, they're awfully close, so you got to hang in there, okay? At the base of the reading, your foundation is the Wheel of Fortune. Well, obviously you had some faith and destiny step in to your life. And this new cycle has begun. And this is the opportunity for a new beginning. I mean, the wheel of life is constantly turning, right? And it's definitely turning into your favor here. So even if it was maybe something you didn't expect or maybe what you perceive as negative, it's for your best and highest good. It's meant to be. You know, this is, this is the right thing. You know, the universe has a way of, of pushing us where we need to go. In your recent past, look at this. You have the magician. Ugh. I mean, this is you showing the world who you are. This is about living an authentic life, doing what you want, what's, what's in your soul, your soul purpose, moving to the real you. Right? You have all the gifts that you need. Right? You have your love and your cups here and your money. You know, this could be about a leaf of faith similar to the fool about you rising up, you know, having trust and confidence and valuing your own gifts. So hang in there, Pisces, because doors are opening for you. Um, I see you social circle, circles expanding as well. And, you know, maybe you're rekindling with some people from the past or old friends. You know, you're kind of, you're coming out, you know, sharing your gifts with the, to the world like a butterfly. You know, and you can't ignore these changes. Absolutely not. And this will show you right here. There's just no denying who you are and where you're supposed to go. So this is fate and destiny, my friend. My friend, my friend. And you wished for it. One of the, what's that old saying? Be careful what you wish for. <laughs> anyway, hey, we've been through enough, Pisces, right? It's our turn now. Um, okay, Four of Swords. Well, this is what's crowning you in the best that could be hoped for. So, you know, I feel like this might be a time of rest and refle uh, reflection for you. Maybe taking the time out to heal from a situation that maybe didn't go your way. Like I was saying earlier with the magician, I mean, I feel like... With the Six of Cups crossing the Three of Wands, um, this could have been an unexpected change as well. So be gentle with yourself. If you have some downtime, please take it. We're always rushing around like crazy. So just try to enjoy and heal. Heal and rest. Rest your mind. Rest your body. Get Take a nap. <laughs> I like naps. Okay. Well, in your immediate future, and this is probably about halfway through um, the month of October, is the Page of Pentacles. Okay. And this is some, some, some information coming into you. Okay. The call is like, you know, the good news letter, or let's just say email, or nobody, nobody mails anything anymore. But this is a, possibly even a financial opportunity. It's a very entrepreneurial spirit. This is about new beginnings again as well. It could be initial stage of a project. You know, you're kind of getting the go-ahead. This could be a hobby, a business adventure, uh, a venture. Uh, a new job, it could be education, maybe you want to go back to school, but you're focused. You're making clear plans and actions, and if you're not, you need to be, okay? So get your rest, because your wishes are coming true, at least for the first part of October, okay? You'll be rocking and rolling by uh, Halloween. <laughs> Your power in the situation, the Empress. Well, look at you, Pisces. You go. This is about 
given birth to that new idea. Maybe something new as well. This is the divine, ultimate divine feminine energy. This woman is extremely successful. She's connected to everything in the universe. Uh, she knows how to stand in her power because she knows who she is. Okay, she's done the work. Okay. She's shining. She's sharing her gifts with the world. She's creative, inspirational, abundant. And she knows how to use the <clears throat> universal energies. She knows. She understands the laws of um, give and take. That's beautiful. How others see you is the Seven of Pentacles. So obviously you've been, you know, working very hard. This is, um, this card always reminds me of the summer. I probably say this every time, but it is what it is. You know, this gentleman is tired. He's not sad. He's been planting his seeds all summer long, right? And now he's, he's waiting for the harvest. And, and it's coming. Because uh, uh, the autumn, and we just moved into the fall equinox here um, in the northern hemisphere, is here. It's here, Pisces. You know, it's coming. Okay? You've done the work. You've planted the seeds. It's your time to shine. Look at this. You know how it goes. You know in your soul. Okay? In your hopes and fears, you have the Knight of Wands. This is the second... Mm, da, 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 da. No. Okay. The, uh, oops, sorry. The Knight of Wands. Well, here's that offer again. You know, this could even be a physical move. This knight is taken off, right, on his horse. He loves action. You know, he's, he's moving forward for that quest for success. And this is you. You know, there may be a lot of busy energy around you by the end of October. And that's why you're going to need your rest, okay? Because I think... Something wonderful is going to come in here for you. The Knight of Wands. I know, I'm sorry, I say wands. Wands, rods, they're all the same. Um, this is definitely the pursuit of an idea. A life event coming in for you. You could travel. You could move. This could be a physical move to a new home. But the offer, and let me tell you, it's coming, and you want it, okay? This is definitely not a fear for you, Pisces. This is your hope, so you're ready, you know? You've done the work. You planted the seeds. You've got your rest. You wished for this change, and here's your new beginning. The Ace of Wands. Is this your second Ace? No, it's your first Ace. Ace of Wands. Well, can't get any better than this. I mean, this confirmation of a new beginning. This could be your new home. If any of you want to move, it's definitely the right direction. You have the energy behind you. But this is also about new ideas, too, right? So if you're looking for a job or you want to start your own business um, or go back to school, this is the green light for you guys. This ace could also um, represent a business on the side. So maybe you guys are looking to, some of you, um, you know, do something on the side for extra money. Nothing wrong with that. We have to do that in this day and age. Well, these companies just don't pay like they used to. Unless you're working for the government, you don't get any pensions, right? So let's pull some clarifiers here for you. <clears throat> let's see what we get here. Oops. 
One of the additional messages for Pisces for October 2017. One of the additional messages for Pisces. You know, I feel like with time to go here as well, that, you know, you're just, you're coming out of an ending and you're moving forward. I love this. We'll read that meeting as soon as we're done here. All right. What are the messages for Pisces? Please clarify the reading. All right. Let's see what we have for you. My lovely fishes. Five of cups. Yep. I just said that. You walked away. Time to go. Look at that. Time to go. Up and at him. The Hermit. Okay, so you've done some soul searching. And the Six of Pentacles. It's your victory right there, Pisces. That's beautiful. Getting your money. This is a very generous money card. You know, maybe some of you lost a job or something happened in a relationship um, and you ended it and you walked away. Um, but it, it definitely was to your advantage. It was time to go. Okay. Time to go. An emotional withdrawal. Well, you have the hermit here. And here's your rest. The Four of Swords. So take the time to heal. Okay, this is really important here. We're going to read these meanings anyway, but I'm just going with what I pick up real quick here. Um... The Hermit, seeking clarity, walking through the night. This is about finding your purpose as well. So if you have anything you want to work on on a, a soul level, please reach out to me. I am available. Um, kind of my forte, helping people find their purpose. Um... But there's a lot of growth here for you, Pisces. A lot of growth. And new beginnings. And reaping what you sow. Showing the world who you are. And through some twist of fate that was meant to be for you. And on some level you wanted it. This is your wish card. Maybe some of you are leaving uh, corporate America. You know, wanting to build your own business. Okay? And check this out. I mean, honestly, be brave. Because look at this. The generosity card is here. You need money? Just ask for it. Pray. Meditate. Howl at the moon. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tarot humor here. I'm serious, though. Make a conscious effort to, like, ask, and you will receive. Look at this, the scales here, right? This the form of justice here when it comes to asking for money, and you're balancing what's owed to you. The universe is very generous. You know, it's not about gimme, gimme, gimme. It's about, you know, give me what I deserve. So I feel like you guys could definitely get the money that you need to move forward in your business. Or even uh, a new job, you know, if you, do we have the four of pentacles here? No, but, you know, the other flip side is when I, sometimes I see the six, I think of the four because, you know, it's about, um, you know, stabilizing, right? Or a foundation or money, right? The pentacle cards are all about material matters, work, business, prosperity, money, possessions. And, you know, we have to have that stable foundation, and manage our money well, and, and, and um, you know, some of us don't. You know, a lot of us are in debt, and, and um, you know, we have to save more. 
and earn, and earn more. So this obviously is an opportunity for you to earn more. So even if it's a new job, you're going to get that job with more pay, be able to build your business. I think this, this downtime, though, is very critical for you, though. Like I said earlier, please rest in the beginning of October. Um, you're going to need your strength because you're going to be super busy, super busy mid-October into November, like gangbusters. All right, let's take a look here. Time to rest number 45. Let's see, 45. What is the message from my fishies? 45. Time to go. Endings, completion, walking away from something because there is nothing else to learn or experience. You are at the end of one journey and not quite yet begun the next. This is the moment to bless your experience thus far. Take stock of what you've learned. It's time to move on to new experiences and a new way of being. There is nothing left for you to do, be, or experience in this present circumstance. Take the risk and move on, even if you need to be in a transition time for a while. Mm-hmm. Okay, here it is. Your destiny is calling you. Isn't that something? Look at that. Okay. So I feel like maybe some of you are um, in a situation, maybe you're not working, but if you have the opportunity to rest and take some downtime, please do that. Time to go. Beautiful. That's amazing, Pisces. All right, and let's read the Eight of um, Emotional Draw. I think that's probably the Eight of Cups in the regular tarot. Let me see. So... Okay, bear with me a minute. This book I'm still getting used to. Okay, most emotional. This card represents moving away or withdrawing from a current situation in your life. Whether it's an old love, a relationship, or leaving behind what was once familiar in the search of new horizons or beginnings. On a physical level, it's easy to get caught up in the materialistic world, but it's just as important to retreat from the outside world to enable you to pause, reflect, and heal. Schedule some alone time so you can commune with your soul and give the power of spirit the opportunity to restore your energy level, giving you the vitality you need to move forward. This is your time. Use this opportunity to tap into your heart and soul in order to find the courage and strength to continue on your journey. That's amazing. I mean, again, okay, it's time to rest and heal. Okay, Pisces. All right. Seeking some solace. All right. Go into nature. Nature is very healing. You don't have to do anything crazy. You don't have to like climb Mount Everest or whatever, you know, just go do an easy hike or just sit and um, listen to the birds and the sounds of nature is around you. It's very, very healing. All right. So, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. Please give it a thumbs up. Thank you for being so patient with me. Um, it's what, September 28th. Oh my goodness. So I've been hope, wanting to get these all done for you like a week ago. Um, but I know you guys are um, so considerate and patient. So thank you again. And we'll see you in mid-October. All the best to you. God bless. Talk to you soon, Pisces. Bye-bye.